Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, years ago, for those of you who wonder what the role of the church is, a lot of times God's people are instructed to remain inside, to stay out of danger's way. And in the wake of the danger and the disaster, we are to come out and help. Now listen to this. Number one, I had dreams years ago of disasters. I had dreams of tsunamis, of tornadoes, of all kind of stuff going on in the last days. And the bottom line is every time the church people were, God's people were instructed to stay indoors. When the Lord pointed out to me the three tornadoes coming together, what I saw was a man gesturing to me to come inside, warning me of the tornadoes coming. I knew that was three, three problems coming our way. Now, when I got inside, all the church people were at peace and the sun was shining bright inside the house while it was cloudy, dark, and gloomy outside of the house. The danger was outside. The safety was within. So I say this to all of you as my brothers and sisters in Christ. Stay indoors. Quit running the streets. Stop running hither and thither, trying to gather everything. No, whatever you may have forgotten, if you've done all you can to provide, trust God to provide for you whatever you were not able to get. Now is the time to stay indoors. And if you have a hard time being still, if you have a hard time being inactive, burrow down in God's presence and start spending concentrated time with him by consecrating yourself at this time so you can get further instructions for the wake of the disaster, for the wake of this pestilence. And you'll know what to do when all the dust settles and God says, now you can come out. If you notice in the Bible, Noah and his family had to stay in the ark the whole time until God showed them signs to come out. If you look at Moses and Pharaoh, when God instructed him to tell Pharaoh to let his people go, when it came to the final plague that God sent as judgment on all the firstborn of the land, what did he do? He instructed the people to paint the doorposts with the blood of a sacrificial lamb without blemish or spot. And they were instructed to stay indoors until the plague was gone. What happens when all this settles and we've been indoors and we've been kept safe? We've been supernaturally protected. Get ready to roll your sleeves up and start helping with the aftermath because God will use his people, especially in these last days. God will use his people, if you will be willing and available to him. But this is the time while you're stuck in the house to hunker down and seek his face for further instruction on how he wants you to be used and when. Now, the next thing I noticed was in a couple of other dreams I had, there was a tsunami the streets were flooded. Then after the streets were flooded, there were swarms of beetles. And after the swarm passed, then the church people were instructed. And during that time also, in the dream, a voice said, everyone stay inside. There's something about us staying inside. When God showed me three tornadoes coming our way, I didn't see the tornadoes. I was caught up looking at a beautiful tree that burst into flames that were not consuming the tree and a beautiful white dove hovering over it. And then a man gestured to me from behind and, and said, come inside. And I looked, 
because he pointed. I'm like, why? And he points at a distance. And there are three tornadoes coming. I knew that was trouble coming. So I got inside. And all the all of God's people were inside full of, of peace. Now check this out. In the house, the sun was shining bright in the windows. The house was bright and happy, full of peace. Outside of the house, it was dark and gloomy with the tornadoes barreling down and the wind whipping. And as we looked out the window, we saw a tornado going down the street, but it didn't damage anything on us. Nobody was hurt. And we prayed that God would protect everybody in our area. And no one got hurt. So my point to you is God will use the church. He'll use us in prayer. He'll use us in natural aid. And he'll use us as spiritual beacons of light in gross darkness. Remember that. So this is the time to seek God's face and see what role you will play as part of his church. God bless you. And please, whatever you do, stay indoors. Don't be a road runner right now. Beep, beep, running here, running there, grabbing this, grabbing that. Nope, now is the time to stay indoors. Whatever you didn't get, trust God to provide. But spend time with him. Seek his face. Prayer for the church as a whole. Heavenly Father, right now in the midst of chaos and concern. Uh, we know that you are still on the throne, that you are still God. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray for forgiveness of sins, Lord, because we want to experience you on a whole nother level in our family, in our marriages, in our callings, in our purpose, in our destinies. We want to make sure, Lord, that we're not just coming to you for you to be a pedestal that we can stand on so you can take us higher. But, Lord, we want to be used to take you higher and to take your name further, to advance your kingdom. We pray, Lord, for every man, for every woman, for every child, Lord, that they will turn back to you and live their life in concert with who you have called them to be. Lord, we pray, Lord, that we don't do what the American slogan says, to follow our heart. We pray, Lord, that we demand that our heart follow the truth. We pray, Lord, that we'll be a peculiar people, as your word says, holy and set apart, that it will be evident in a trying time that we are your people and that we are taking refuge in you so that we can experience healing and salvation right now in our land. Lord, we lift up families, we lift up individuals, we lift up communities, we lift up our government, Lord that you have set in place. Lord, so we pray, Lord, that we have healing from top to bottom. And that has everything to do with turning to you. So we pray, Lord, for every individual watching this right now, that they would be living their lives connected to who you are and your word, looking for every opportunity to serve you, to love you, to give to you, and to have faith in you in every area of life, even right now. We pray, Lord, for those who have been affected by this time and this disease and this virus that is going on. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray, Lord, for you to be Jehovah Rapha, Lord, the God who heals and the God who provides. We pray, Lord, that you would come through right now. Lord, we are looking to you. Bless us right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.